Securing your account is always very important, especially accounts from work where you share a lot of sensitive files with your coworkers. Whenever someone else gets into your account, they immediately have access to a lot of these very sensitive files. That's of course something we don't want to let happen. By adding multi-factor authentication to your account on top of your regular password, you're adding extra security so that if someone happens to have your password, they still have one more roadblock preventing them from having access to your account. In short, multi-factor authentication is an extra check to make sure that the person who's logging into your account is really you. Multi-factor authentication must be enabled first by your organization. Once that's good to go, logging in will look a little bit different the first time. Firstly, you insert your email and your password, just like how you're used to. Once you've done that, a new screen will pop up telling you that more information is required. Once you click on Next, you're brought to the page where you're going to be able to set up your multi-factor authentication information. On the first page, Microsoft will ask you to download an app on your smartphone called Microsoft Authenticator. This is the app that you'll be using to log into your account with. After you've installed the app, click on Next. Open up the Authenticator app. You may be asked if you allow the app to send you notifications. If you do, allow this. Once in the app, Press the Add Account icon at the top of the screen, then select Work or School, and scan a QR code. The app will then ask for access to your camera. Once you give access, a QR code scanner will pop up. On the device you're setting up with multi-factor authentication, click Next. A QR code will show up that you'll have to scan to add the account to the app. Once scanned, your account will be added. Once you click Next, you'll be able to test if everything is properly configured. Grab your phone and check it for a pop-up notification from the Microsoft Authenticator app. Tap Approve in the pop-up notification. Once you've done that, the setup page will display that everything went according to plan. Once you click on Next, you will be asked to add a phone number to your account. You have to add one in case the Authenticator app becomes unavailable for some reason. Choose your country, enter your phone number, and click on Next. You'll get a text message on your phone with a confirmation code. Enter the confirmation code you obtained and click on Next. Multi-factor authentication should now work fully. This means that every time you log in, you'll get this pop-up notification on your smartphone. Once you do, simply press Approve and you're in. Do keep in mind that you should only tap Approve if you're logging in yourself. Always press Decline if you're not 100% sure if you triggered the pop-up yourself. That way, nobody else but you will be able to access your account. Good luck!